All right, so Sunday, WrestleMania, the last of the two days. Well, duh, that's just how it works. Never mind. Part two. Um, yeah. There's no, I was like, there, there, there's no thing in this out. Um, all right, so not it's not as greatly matched up like the first day is. Uh, I'm not saying it's not good matches. Uh, I'm not saying that it's it just it just it is not it's just not a stack. Let's be honest. And I get it. They the first day they want to get all the stuff out the way. It's your first day, so they got to lock you in. You don't want to be. I was like, you don't want to have two days and your first day is over here being all poop. Nobody wants that. And I was like, you rather. I mean, you don't want poop in general, so I guess never mind. But with all that, I was like. They want to get you your money's worth on the second, on the first day, and on the second day too. It's not that there's not, it's just not the same, it's not a lot. I like the quantity is there though, so that's still that's still the thing. So it's you know, however you want to take it. Um, but I will say they also got two matches that kind of just see like, mm. um, and I don't even know. I was like. To be honest, all right, cool. We're going to start this out now. I was like, like I said, I'm over here doing the uh, the planning, the scheduling. I'm not necessarily the booker, but we'll see how it is. I think they're going to start with the United States Triple Threat match. Logan Paul, Kevin Owens, Randy Orton. I think Logan Paul takes this match. I don't see any reason to take the title off of him, especially for these two. Um, I think these two are just basically going to butt heads, and Logan Paul is just going to be a, a heel and take advantage of it. Um, I was like, whether people like it a lot or not, I was like, Logan Paul is basically a draw in some form for the championship. I mean, other than also being a good wrestler. Um, and also, to me, I'm not going to lie, but I don't think Randy or Kevin Owen really needs that championship. I think that if Kevin Owens won, I was like, there could be something they'd be doing with that one. Whereas Randy Orton, it, it just seems like it's just really no purpose of him being here with this championship. I'm not gonna lie. Like Kevin Owens can like even though Kevin Owens is in the same in the same plane, he can do he can work with less. Whereas like I'm like Randy over here. I'm like, what is he doing? Is he he about to retire or something? Like that's how I would feel about it. And also on top of this, that whoever wins either championship on either side of you know mainly. I would like mainly the Cody Drew or, or I guess even Seth Retains or whatever. You need people to fight them. And I was like, Kevin Owen and Randy Orton are always t main event title match people. So that's why they're not going to. Also, Logan Paul keeps it. I was like, there's enough young players to play the fight for that championship that have a chance of actually beating Logan Paul than to me of like them beating Randy Orton or Kevin Owens. You get what I'm saying. Um, so anyway, that's where we're going to go with there. Um, then after that, I think we're going to get a LA Knight AJ Styles match. Uh, one of them simmer down matches where they're like, mm, okay, cool. It's very chill. It's there. I was like, to me, it's going to be LA Knight just because I'm like, I think this is his first WrestleMania. Um, so yeah, there's that. And, um, also the fact too, that I'm like, you still you want to AJ Styles is established. You want to try to get LA Knight in some form to where he's at least a constant competitor and and somewhere in between here mid card main event. So I'm like give him the match at WrestleMania with LA is AJ Styles AJ I was gonna say LJ Styles and get and let him basically not go over but maintain what he able to be and solidify him at least in the area. Um, yeah, I was like, yeah, no, it's too hard to think about this. AJ's fine. They're going to probably, I was like, look, not that I'm saying that LA Knight won't also be, but AJ Styles probably going to be able to be in Kevin Owen, Randy Orton, going after a title. That's what he is a lot more. And LA Knight probably going to be more men. I could see them doing Logan Paul at SummerSlam. We thought we were going to get it here at WrestleMania, but hey, that's just where he's solidified. Um, I was like, after that, I was like, we're going to get EO Sky and Bailey. Um, I was like, because the other two matches are going to be at the end. You know what? No. No. You're going to get Seth Rollins and Drew McIntyre in the middle. I was like, that way, I was like, 
it, it built more to the it built more to the night. And I was like, like I said too, I was like, that way you get the women match to be sort of cold main event matches. Um I don't actually know how this one's gonna go to be honest. Uh Okay, we we all feel I was like I feel like it's gonna be Drew that's going to win. And uh, with the help of the bloodline, I think the, like how the Rock sort of looked at Seth. I think that's a thing for that. The reason I said I don't know how it might go is not necessarily that I think Seth is, will be losing. Is it can be Drew? CM Punk gonna be on commentary. It can be Drew beating him, and this is and through maybe through bloodline shenanigans on top of that, and Drew just winning the match. Um, but I don't think it hurts Drew's story and all that other stuff he loses. I was like, it does take a little bit off of him, but I was like, I think it still builds up his craziness and, want, you know, wanting that, you know. But now he's, now, like, CM Punk now gets to laugh at him and be like, ha, you get, you didn't win against, in front of all these people. Your chance is gone. Like, that's why I said it, it still builds, it still builds that story. It still builds that tension. It still builds the fact that he didn't win in front of people. But I could see him winning it in front of people and going at CM Punk. But I can also, I'll be like, but Seth could pull one out of his ass and beat Drew and be thinking like, it's fine. Ha, you bloodline people. Y'all thought it was going to be over, but I won. Then Priest music hits. And then it's like, oh my God. And now, and bloodline's still there. And then just like, and you get to also build basically Judgment Day and bloodline that thing that they was talking about earlier on in the year where they don't have beef they're just i was like they can see eye to eye on things and they're cool and that's when they get pulled that's when it gets put in or something like that that's the favor or whatever and basically seb has to try to fight off damien and he can't and damien catches in and wins the championship either way i don't think seth is going to be champion he's not going to be champion tonight the the it's going to either be drew or a cash in. So either way, Seth is losing this one. Um then I think we're going to get um the the street fight of the Prophets and Bobby Lashley and the final testament carrying across the ALP. Um I I was like just because I was like it's a street fight and I was like it's a simmer down map, but because it's a street fight, there's something added to it to where it won't be as boring. Um, you know what I'm saying? Then it's a straight up match because I was like, to me, this couldn't have been and not been that fun. Uh, it would have been like the dominant, you know, that match where it's like, oh, it's cool, but mm. um, to me, I was like, the final testament has to win this one. Otherwise, it's just like you're already starting out with them not doing it. Well, I'm like, cause I'm like, Bobby Lashley and the Prophet will be fine. They already are Bobby Lashley and the Prophets. They don't need a win. They don't need it. They're good. Where like. Carrying across the ALP, I'm like, no, y'all need to win to establish yourself as whatever this faction thing is. Y'all need to win. Y'all need to do whatever y'all have been doing. So I was like, they're going to win and end this rivalry. Then we got EO Sky and Bailey. Um, I was like, one, you get the co main event. And also, two, I was like, I don't know. I was like, I don't think they want a street fight before the main event as well, too. I was like, this one is a straight up title match. I was like, it's. I, I I was like anyway. I also don't know how this fully goes either because I'm like they're going. I like the damage control going to lose the three the three women tag, the six man tag. So, but they didn't lose the titles, and that's why I said I was like I don't know because it was something for the titles and they lost the titles. Then EO would definitely lose. But I'm like I can I can see them keeping EO at the winner and they still have all the belts. And it's still being a thing. And Bailey could still fight Io. Or it's because those three women won. Bailey gets to win, which I think Bailey's going to win. And you have Io chasing back later on, them in control, trying to figure out their way. But Io gets to reestablish herself with the chase of the championship than anything. You know, because it has been a it's been a lackluster championship. Uh, rain. So I'm like, this way, this gives her a chance to have a, a better build to this one. Fighting Bailey. Bailey's a good talker. Bailey be put on solid matches. She hadn't really been able to. She hadn't gone through the 
roster in a way that the other champ women's championship have. So I like she'll get it, and I was like, and it'd be like the good story and all that stuff. Everybody won Bailey, and I was like, it'll look good, and I think it'll be a good one uh, for her to win. And then we're gonna go to this next match, which is for the undisputed WWE Champions Universal Championship. Cody Roman. And another one. Another one. I I if I could go either way. It really can't. This could go either way. And I'ma say Cody. But I wouldn't be shocked if this was Roman. I wouldn't be mad either. I know a lot of people be mad. The funny thing is, is that if you would have asked me about three or four months ago about the about Roman, I'd be like, I was like, I did, a, I was like, I did the video where I was like, he has to lose, he has to lose because people are sick and tired of him not showing up, sick and tired of him having the title not defending. Uh, you know, it's just been so long. It's just been three, four years anyway. Um, new, I like just having a new blood because I'm like, it gives other people a chance to also win the championship. You know, if now I'm not win for Cody, I was like, if you know, there's who else is going to be challenged? All these kind of things. But by God, after a month that or whatever it's been, I think you, I think you have a good majority of people that's like, oh. Roman's going it, it's it's really crazy that flip because I, I think they're like I'm one of those people that I'm like I'd be fine with Roman keeping it I would like Roman to keep it I can acknowledge that it's time for him to lose it and for that I think Cody is going to win not necessarily because I, I like I think it I think there's more story to build with Cody winning than there is with Roman retaining I was like you, I was like, we can always revisit this in a, in a third matchup next WrestleMania. I was like, you get you get Cody Rock, you get Roman Rock, you get. Uh, I was like, now you Cody get to face the other half of the roster as a champion. Um, now you got people gunning for his neck to where it's like, okay, cool. All that little, all that superhero stuff you were doing before, can you still do it? Um, or will people? like Cody as much now that he has the title instead of, you know, do you, can you turn Roman baby face? Uh, does Roman lose the bloodline? Does, you know, uh, does the roster see him as vulnerable? Does he go like on like a mini loses? Like there's so many more stuff you could do with Roman retaining other than like Roman Brock title or, you know, kind of like once Cody, how the Cody loses, that's it for him. So, the shenanigans basically is going to be, I don't think it's going to be Cena and Stone Cold. I don't, I don't think it will be. But I would not be surprised if it wasn't the lock, like a locker room dump of people. Like, newly titled Drew. I like Seth still showing his ass up there. Jimmy and Jay. Uh, Kevin Owens. Sami Zayn. Um... Obviously, The Rock, um, Solo. Like, you got enough people out there or enough people that have hated the bloodline or getting into the bloodline. I know they made that that secret. I was like, that they, they signed a new person. I don't know if they was, if that dude shows up. I was like, that's supposed to be what the blood, that's like bloodline. <sighs> Never mind, that changes the whole pan of the thing. I for, I don't know. I'm like, I'm not gonna butcher the guy's name either. Um Tonga, I was like, but anyway, if he shows up like Al Solo did, you know, I was like, you gonna get, I was like to me, I was like, at that point, Cody loses. If he shows up, Cody loses. I I there's no way he shows up and then Cody still wins, maybe I mean I, I see that very difficult, but I don't see how that goes. Either way, I think Cody wins. I think it's going to be a fest of what the hell's going on out here. And a blood rule, so it's basically a hardcore match. That's why you couldn't have the street, the Philly street match at the same time, which made me think that maybe they, they might put that, that bitch on earlier just so there ain't that confusion once we start actually using weapons and stuff. 
But anyway, what do you all think? How do you think it's going to go? Especially that last match. I was like, do you agree with basically how I picked this? You should. Um, anyway, yeah. Uh, we're going to see how WrestleMania unfolds. Just the weekend, everybody. The weekend. Ooh, yeah, baby.